Hey guys, I'm Mikima back here for the video. Guys, real fast, comment of the day coming in from my man right here, Kenny Kerr, saying Josh Gordon confirmed Mark Guru loves Gordon. Now, he said this about yesterday's Rewind promo. Now, of course, we found out who that player was. By the time you're watching this video, now I am recording this video one day early just because I want to make sure I can get it out for you guys on Wednesday. So with that, I am recording this on Monday. So this is before the Rewind promo release, but it doesn't really affect the game too much, uh, you know, market-wise. So let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway I am running. Two cards on Xbox One, Nick Foles and AJ Green. On PS4, I'm running 10 different card giveaways, and I'm also running a Calvin Johnson free safety. I icon, I, I icon in the right-hand corner will take you to that video. So, guys, as I said before, the um, Rewind promo doesn't affect the whole market too, too much. We do get 296 overalls, which is pretty good, but 95 overalls pretty much go for nothing now. And depending on what the 96s are, because of thresholds, they already go for pretty much nothing. So, depending on who their players are, depends on how much they'll go for. But they do not affect the market that much. But players like Von Miller right over here this is players that do gain value and do go up in price depending on power-ups so that's the one thing we can look at is whenever new power-up cards get cards their base elites will most likely go up we see this with von miller right here he went up 36 percent this is because von miller was the last week's uh, rewind players master and because he got the master his base elite went up in price so who, whoever ends up being the rewind master this week if they either one has power up sets their base elites should go up in price that upcoming friday whenever you know power ups are released same thing with i believe the mutt heroes aj green um okay so this is not the i was actually expecting that to be the 91 overall version that went up in price I guess I believe he did actually go up in price, but again, any kind of power up cards, their base elites, their whole entire, you know, like set to complete them, all those cards should go up in price whenever they get a new power up card. So, what can we take away from last week that we can say will affect the market and what will in the future, very soon, affect the market? So, in the future, very soon, we have something that's called the NFL Combine promo. Most likely, I'm going to guess it either comes out Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I'm going to say, I'm going to take a guess it comes out Friday, but it might come out Wednesday. It might come out today for all we know, right? So, NFL Combine promo, what it is, it's going to introduce a lot of new cards to the game. It's going to introduce a lot of speedy players like John Ross, like maybe Chris Johnson, Vernon Davis. A lot of cards with a lot of good speed. So, and a lot of cards with, who are strong, who are just complete, utter athletes when it comes to uh, these players it's going to be amazing because obviously the combine tests how good of an athlete you are how strong you are how fast you are how good of an nfl player you will be so that's going to introduce a lot of new cards in the game and when it does it's going to bring down the prices of a lot of cards the main reason why is because a lot of cards have value based on how fast they are we see that with the wide receivers. The faster the wide receiver, the higher price they're going to be. Michael Vick was 2 million coins because he had, you know, 96 speed or 95 speed, I believe. Um, actually, let's see. Is this the Michael Vick Ultimate Legend? Uh, of course it's not. Um, let's see. Anyone sniper does not look like they snipe. I believe he has 95 speed. But nonetheless, you know, because of that, that's going to go ahead and keep the cards price at a very, very high level. Now, when there's new cards introduced in the game and are easier to get, obviously that will bring down the price of those higher overall speed players, especially if we get a 99 speed CJ2K again, or possibly a 99 speed John Ross. So what we can take away from that is that that is going to bring down the price of a lot of speed demon type players. That's also going to take down the price of any player under their overall players. So there's going to be a lot of players dropping down in price once the combine promo comes out. Now what we can also take away is after the combine promo we have positional heroes most likely early march so early march we have positional heroes which is about 27 different 95 I believe it's 95, 97 of all players, which is going to bring down the market even more. Now, last week in Mutt, we had two Ultimate Legends come out. We also had, I believe, just Motivators, and that's pretty much... Not Motivators, sorry. And uh, two, what's it called, uh, Power-Up cards come out, 
and that's pretty much it. So we didn't have too much coming out last week. I might completely be forgetting something. My memory is not the best. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but you can see right here, the new players we have, Kevin Winslow Sr. and Eric Allen. Again, rewind promo. They're all new players with that promo, but I am recording this in advance. Um, other than that, Market Losers is Ultimate Legends, cards going down in value, and we'll see this more and more as the days go on. Ultimate Legends will start to go down in value more and more, because more and more people open up the packs, the bundles, more people are pulling these packs, pulling these cards, and slowly the set pieces will go down as the players overall, you know, overall price value goes down too. Most expensive players are still 1.3 million for Mean Joe Green. Uh, Todd Gurley is 1.25, Aaron Donald 1.15, and of course Michael Vick is around a million coins, which is slowly dropping. His price is now under a million on some, you know, versions of him. Uh, again, we have Kevin Winslow Sr., who's about 500k. Again, the best of the best pack did definitely do a number on this, um, you know, on these players. Of course, Eric Allen's about 500k too. Daily snipes, we have Mike Vick at 70k, Von Miller at 100, 126 for Von Miller, uh, Larry Allen at 100, 100, 100, and 100. So, very nice. Obviously, I don't think I'll ever go ahead and get those 100 coin snipes. I'm personally not on the market all day like some people are, so I'm not really, I don't put myself in a position I, as much as other people do. Now, if you are, if you get those 100 coin snipes, definitely tell me down below, guys. I'd love to hear it. And let's go ahead and switch over to PS4. So PS4 is the same exact concept as the Xbox One, except I believe it's the less players playing PS4 because the price is all higher on PS4. Now over here to our left hand side, as I said, just the same concept as Xbox One will be on PS4. Now a lot of these players, you know, going up in price just because of randomness. There's no actual reason to have these cards, no reason to actually, you know, do anything with these cards. Nick Foles went up 12. Wow, I, I forgot he got an 85. Wow. So he got an 85, he got a 94, and he got a 99 in the same two like month and a half period. That is quite interesting. <laughs> Nick Foles, you definitely, you went up in life, man. 85, 94, 99 in a literally probably a month period. Yeah, month period, you went up that much. Not many players can say that. But again, players went up in value and down value based on that. But uh, Mean Joe Green, 1.3. Todd Gurley, 1.2. A little bit more expensive. Again, everything's more expensive on PS4. For Michael Vick. Um, you know, same thing with the, these players, a little bit more expensive, about 100k each more expensive. And then daily snipes, you see a little bit less, eh, same amount of 100 coin snipes. Usually when I look at PS4, the 100 coin snipes are not as frequently as Xbox One. So that, do, I don't know if that means that there's smarter players on PS4 than Xbox One. I'm not sure you can, guys, tell me down below what you guys think. Do you think they're smarter players or dumber players? I don't know. I mean, there's less 100 coin snipes overall on uh, PS4. So maybe that means something. But I do play Xbox One and only Xbox One. I was actually switching the PS4 and I decided, nah, fluff it. I also don't want to have to pay $60 for the uh, PSN every single year. I already pay for Xbox. And actually, for Xbox, you can get like two years, I believe, uh, for a certain discount. So I just got two year plan for Xbox. So. PS4, don't really fluff with it. But other than that, guys, again, we have a lot of things that are going to keep bringing down this market. Ultimate tickets, most likely sometime next month, too. And I'm not talking about the actual players, but the actual tickets in packs. And when those go in the packs, oh, my God, the market is dead. Like, you think the market is dead now, guys? Once those ultimate tickets, actual tickets go into packs, the market completely dies because that's when everyone's pulling packs, everyone's selling everything to even try to get a chance at pulling ultimate tickets. So the market will continue to fall, as I've been saying. There's nothing that's really going to bring this market back up anytime soon. So if you want to buy a team, I say wait until... After the combine promo this Friday, if you can wait even farther than that, you can wait even longer. I'd probably go ahead and just continue to move on and try to buy it with ultimate tickets, positional heroes, anything next month. So next month is going to be like the prime time, you know, time to buy a team back. But other than that, selling wise, you know, <laughs> there's nothing I can say about that. The, the market is 
continuing to collapse slower and slower as we go on. So, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. So that sounds a little bit weird in some of these videos. I am doing a max recording for, you know, this whole entire week. I try my best to do recordings, you know, all at once so I can go ahead and just spread them out so I make sure I get them out at perfect time for you guys. And again, that's just how I walk. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.